the climate of India. In this video, you will learn about the difference between weather and climate, the factors which influence the climate of a place, and the three main seasons of India. Generally, people got confused with the terms weather and climate, and they use weather as the synonym to climate, but actually it is not. So let's understand the difference between weather and climate. Climate. Climate is an established pattern of weather over a long period of time, particularly over 30 years. And weather, the day-to-day -day variation of condition of the atmosphere. So there are many other points of differences as well. To summarize, we can say that weather refers to how hot, cold, rainy, windy or cloudy it is in a particular place or at a particular time. But when you say that it is very cold in the Himalayan region or coastal plains are very humid, it means that you are talking about the climate. Different places in the world have different types of climate. There are many factors that affect the climate of a place. But in this video, we will study about only these three factors. First one is the distance from the equator. Second is altitude. Third is distance from the sea. Now let's try to understand how distance from the equator affect the climate of a particular place. As you can see in the diagram, the rays are direct or vertical at the equator and slanting at the pole. The slanting rays have to heat up a larger area of the earth's surface than the direct rays that fall on the equator. Hence, places near the equator get heated more than the places near the poles. Temperature decreases with height. The higher you go, the cooler it becomes. The peaks of high mountains are covered with snow throughout the year. Thus, the higher a place is from sea level, the cooler is its climate. This is because as the air rises, the pressure decreases. Lower pressure at higher altitude causes the temperature to be colder. Let's take the example of New Delhi and Sikkim. New Delhi and Sikkim are at the same distance away from the equator. But still, there is a difference in the climate. Sikkim is at high altitude so that the climate is cold as compared to Delhi that is in the plains. Distance from the sea. The places near the sea have moderate climate due to breeze from the sea. The wind from the sea affect the climate of the place. Sea takes longer to heat up and cool down than land. So in winter, the sea keeps the coastal area warm and cools them down in summer. For example, Mumbai or Chennai is closer to the equator than Delhi. So we can therefore expect it to be warmer than Delhi during summer. But this is not so because Mumbai is situated on the sea coast. This makes its climate moderate. Most places experience few months of hot weather, few months of rainy weather and few months of cool or cold weather in an year. Each of these division of year that have particular weather pattern are called as seasons. India has three main seasons during the year, summer, rainy season and winter. Some areas also experience spring and autumn. The summer season starts in March or April and continues till May or June. In South India, it starts becoming hot in March and stays hot till after May. In North India, summer starts in April and goes on till June and July. In summer, it is very hot and dry in almost all parts of India except the mountains. The sun is very hot and days are longer than nights. Hot dry winds called Lu blow in the northern plains. Dust storms are very common in this region. The coastal plains are not so hot in summers because of the sea breeze. However, it is very, very humid during this time. Rainy season starts from June and ends till September. Rainfall occurs in India mostly due to the monsoon winds coming from Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal towards the land. These moisture-laden winds cause rainfall. The Thar Desert receives very little rainfall. The Coromandel Coast receives rainfall during November and December. From October onwards, it starts becoming pleasant. The sun is not so hot. The days start becoming shorter and nights longer. This marks the beginning of winter. It continues till February or March. January is the coldest month. Winters are very cold in the Himalayas. Many places have snowfall. The northern plains are cold. The cold decreases as we go south. The coastal plains are pleasant during winter. Try to give the answers that is based on the topics that we discussed in this video. 
First question is what gives rise to the seasons? The answer to this question is I will not tell you try to find out the answer. Answer lies in the meaning of season. Next question is how many seasons are there in India? It is pretty simple. Next question is weather changes every day. Is it true or false? Fourth question is the poles receives more heat than the equator. Is it true or false? Now the last question. There are several elements that make up the weather and climate of a place. Is it true or false? These questions are very simple. If you are unable to give the answer, please see the video again and try to understand. Thank you. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe it. Thanks a lot.